Hi, I'm Dan. I welcome to your Everest Garage. If you're here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to cut thicker mill, in this case, specifically 7 mil film for stencils on your Cricut. Now, I have a Cricut Explorer Air 2, but this works on other Cricuts as well. Now, if you watch any of my other videos on Cricuts and cutting stencils, you already know that I like the matte stencil film from Graphics. What I like about this film is that it has not only a frosted finish, but it has a, like a very grippy matte finish to it. It's not real smooth. I like that. But this is a 5 mil, and I really like cutting with the 5 mils, but I did have some viewers ask me to cut thicker uh, mil stencils. So I'm going to bump it up to 7 mils today, and I'm going to show you what happens when you use your normal settings with your fine point blade it cuts really well on the five mil, but when you go to the seven mil, I'm going to show you what happens. And so what I thought I needed was, I thought I needed a deep cut blade. So I went out and bought a deep cut blade. Um, it was about $15. I did some tests with it and found out that I didn't need a deep cut blade. You can do it with your standard blade, but there's a setting within the design space that I will show you um, that needs to be set. and it's going to work out great. So if you're interested in that, please stick around. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. A couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and help me build this channel so I can keep putting content out for you guys. And with that, let's get started. All right, so before we actually get started, I want to take you through a couple things that you're going to need for the Cricut. For those of you who don't have a Cricut or might be considering getting a Cricut, the first thing you're going to need is a cutting mat to go with your Cricut. Now, these come in all different sizes. It gives you standard measurements, you know, uh, inches, and it gives you metric measurements. Like I said, these come in, you know, much longer mats. But what it is is basically a sticky mat. And it has a protective cover on it that you're going to want to save because when you're done with the mat, you're going to want to cover it back up to protect it. And as you can see, they get dirty and they'll lose their stickiness after a while. And you'll have to replace the mat. This is a light grip mat. Um, they come in different grips. I use a standard or light grip. I really do like the light grip probably the best. You're going to need that mat. And then the film that we're going to be cutting today is a 7 mil film. Now, as you saw before, the uh, graphics film, I told you it had like a matte rougher finish to it that I liked. This film has the frosted look to it, but it is a much smoother It is a much smoother feel to it, but it's seven mils. And as you can see the packaging on this, um, I basically, I think it's like, you know, more of a generic film. It just tells me that there's 15 pieces in here, it's seven mils and it's 12 by 12. Now I will pop a link down below for this particular product. I'm not even quite sure of the name of it. I just know it was relatively cheap. All right, so basically what we're going to want to do is we're going to take, going to take our 7 mil stencil material and just line it up on our board here. I usually line it up in the upper left corner and down the left side because as you'll see in a second, that's where I like to position my stuff in design space. Design space is the program for Cricut. All right, so we'll set that aside a minute. I'm also going to show you what happens when you don't have everything set right. So I ran a test previously before I start shooting this video. And what I did was I thought I needed the deep cut blade. Well, when I went to put the deep cut blade in, it wasn't giving me any settings to turn the deep cut blade on, you know, under mylar or plastics. It was still asking for the fine point blade. Now, as I said, I went out and bought a deep cut blade because I thought I needed one because I was going to a heavier material. Well, I found that not to be the case. The blade or the standard blade that comes with the machine is going to be adequate to cut the seven mil film. The problem is there's a setting in there that if you don't set right, as you can see, didn't cut all the way through. But once it is set right, it will cut all the way through. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. All right, so let's turn over to the computer. And for, and for you guys and girls out there that haven't done anything in the Cricut before, I'm going to start you from scratch, basically. So 
This is the design space that comes with Cricut. You download it to your computer. This is the space in which you're going to, or the program you're gonna bring your designs into. As you can see, all of my designs right here. You're gonna import your, or you know, download your designs into design space. And this is going to make it cuttable for your Cricut. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna hit new. And then over here on the left, we're gonna hit upload. And I'm gonna pick a design in which to upload. Um, I'm gonna pick uh, the tag or the airbrush garage fire template. I'm gonna come on down here and say insert image. Now, as you can see, your design space here has all of your measurements in inches. I'm sure you can change that to metric if you need to. Now, this here is your object and you can place it anywhere on your design space you want. I like to place it about three quarters of an inch from the top and the side just to give myself a little bit of leeway um, that I don't run this right out to the edge. So have my cutting blade go right out to the edge. So I like to give it a little bit of space. All right, so in any event, um, what you see here is your height and your width and your height right now, or my height is 3.348, right? Well, I don't want that. I want it to be an even 3.5 inches. So 3.5. And what you're gonna notice is that the width automatically adjusted. So if I wanted this to be, you know, say five inches, then my height would automatically adjust. Okay, so it's going to adjust it proportional to what your object or your image is. So once you have that, that's all you need, then you say make it. Okay, so this is your cutting mat. You could even see the little cutout up top there where it looks exactly like your cutting mat and where it's going to be placed and cut out onto your cutting mat. So once you're happy with everything and your material size, right now I have a 12 by 12 in here. If you click that arrow, there's all different kinds of sizes in here so it can recognize what material you have on this mat. And you do want to place your material to the upper left corner of this mat. Let's hit continue. Now what this is going to do is it's looking and attempting to connect to I need to turn the Cricut on, or you need to turn the Cricut on in order for your Bluetooth to find it. Once it found it, it'll tell you. And this is a great feature. I mean, you know, everything is Bluetooth nowadays, but so awesome. I mean, this thing could be out in a shop or in another room. I could be, you know, sitting on the couch on my laptop doing a design, have my Cricut on and just, you know, send it from there. Okay, so really important here now next is um, set the base material. Now, you want to make sure the dial on your Cricut is set to custom. There's a lot of different settings over here, uh, you know, poster board, all the way to, you know, light cardstock, iron on, whatever it may be. But in this case, you want it set to custom. Now, this is a favorite I have because of the sense of material I normally cut, you know, four or five mil. So it's just a quick reference that I can go right there and just pick it where I don't have to search for it. Because right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Browse All Materials. And we're going to come all the way down because there's nothing really in here. Because under the plastics, what we normally, like I said, we have it set as a favorite. You see the star. Stencil film 4.4 uh, millimeters. And again, that'll cut 5 millimeters. So we're not going to do that. We're going to come all the way down to Other. And we're going to click Mylar. I'm going to hit done. Now here's where I discovered you don't need the deep cut blade. The pressure setting here, the default setting is set. Now when you click that, you got more or less. Just click more and that fine point blade will do the rest. Because when you click certain materials like mylar or the plastics, it's not going to give you the option to load in the deep cut blade. It's only going to give you the option to load in the fine point blade. So by giving it just a little bit more pressure, instead of cutting through the five mil, it will cut through the seven mil, as you'll see in a second. All right, so once you got your material set up, 
and you have your uh, blade in, okay? The next thing it's asking for is us to load the material. So over here on our Cricut, we're gonna open it. And the flashing light is indicating it wants us to do something. And it wants us to load our material. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cutting mat now with our stencil material already on it. And there's two tabs down here and they're guides. And you want to slip your mat underneath those guides and you wanna push it you know, lightly to the rubber rollers on the left and the right. Once you have that, you wanna press your blinking button and that's gonna bring in your mat. Your cutting head's going to sense your material or your mat. Then over on your computer or your design space, it goes to the next step, number three, it says press go. And you're looking for this button. And of course, over on our machine, it is flashing. So you wanna press that button. As you can see, it says preparing. What it's doing is sensing, and then now it's cutting. And all along, you could see what the percentage of your project is cut. Okay, that's telling us to unload the material. Again, you want to hit the flashing arrow button. It unloads the material. We want to come down here to the finish button, hit finish. Just peel back the stencil material and you see how easy it comes right off and how well that blade cut through that material at seven mils, just by increasing the pressure. Beautiful. Well, there you have it, as simple as that. You know, I went out and got the deep cut blade because it was told to me that I needed it and where I should have done my own test first and I could have saved a couple dollars. So that's what this video is about, it is to show you that you can do uh, thicker mylars and stuff like that on this machine without going and modifying your machine at all. So uh, with that, I hope you really like this content. If you do, please consider subscribing, hit that bell to get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. A couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.